In this video, we'll be looking for some other type of charts that is the sparkline chart, but it is as different as compared to the other one. What I'll do is I'll not create a separate charts and then take, occupy some space, but this sparkline charts I'll create within particular cell and I can use it. For example, I have some data given here. I have the products given, the months are given. Products are like shoes, laptops and chairs and projector. And every month, these are the quantities which are given 95, 5 and 25. I want to create a sparkline chart and I want to paste in that location. How do I create it? Very simple method. I'll just keep my cursor in this place and I'll go to the insert tab and you can see on the right hand side I have this sparklines. Three types of sparklines. One is for the line, column and win loss. Very simple. I'll go with the first one that is column. It will ask me two questions. What is your data range and where do you want to paste? This is my data range. I'll select the data range here. I'll select here using this method. Yeah select the data range click on that and second thing is if you ask what is the location i'll say my location would be this one i want to paste that chart into one particular cell and click on ok so once you click on ok related to that graph will be pasted in that cell so it will not occupy more space but now let's see whether it's working fine or not if you try to change some value let's say if you change from 40 to 60 60 whether it changes in the chart please see that it is yes reflecting if i change 95 to 55 or 45 enter so the value changes automatically if i change it to 65 yeah the value is changing similarly if i change to 45 the value keeps on changing here 50 value changes so this chart is changing automatically according to the values present here so now but if you want to make some spicy into that chart how you can get it once you click on that area where you have pasted the chart you get a tab which is known as sparkline tool that's a design tab and you can change the color so if you don't like this color blue color you can go with the yellow color you can select let's say green color some other color red color and so on you can use add variety in that now uh, if you want to find out what is the lowest value in that place you can go to the design tab and you see there are six different check boxes available if i click on this low point you see there's a low point and the color has changed the color is not visible properly because you need to do a formatting again I'll ask him for low point, I want some other color, let's say black color. So I'll go to this place and I have this marker color, low point and the colors are given here. I'll select as black color. So if you observe a small black color will be changed here. These are the low points which are both 45, 45, 45 and 45. These are all low. If I change, it will change automatically. Similarly, if you want to highlight, I'll remove that low point. If you want to highlight something for the high point, I'll just click on this high point. You see high point is highlighted this one, but again, the color is not properly visible. I'll try to change it. Yeah. Okay. I'll change the color itself. I'll change the color itself for high point and the color would be, let's say yellow. Yeah. Yellow would be fine. This is the high point. If you do not want, you can just remove it. The high point. Similarly, the negative points right now, I do not have negative points. If I keep your cursor and if I type here minus 25, enter. So that's my negative point, which is in the blue color. Go to click on that design tab and that's a negative point. If I select negative point also will be in the same color. So again, I have first point. That's the first point and the last point, last point gets selected and so on. If you, if you like this, if you want to extend that selection for this columns also, do not create it again. Just use the simple shortcut method, drag and fill. You just drag it on the right hand side and it automatically gets copied. But if you observe, this has no relation with the other one. For example, the numbers as 5, 10, 15, 20, they are incremented by 5. Other numbers I also incremented by 25, 25, 50, 75. But both charts look similar. But they don't have relation among each other. How they, do they calculate? That's their range, the data range and the location range. They calculate it this wise. Next is, if I want to go to design tab and I have some more few options, if this data keeps on adding, let's say if I add it to 69, some options, let's say 89, 79, all these values. I want to add this values in this place. How do I get it? Click on that area, wherever your chart is there, sparkline chart. Yeah. And you can go to design tab and you can click on this edit data and it'll say as edit group location and data. So right now it says the location data range is this much. I want to expand it. I want to select the location range from here. and click on OK. I'll change it. The location should be this much. And I'll click on OK. Something wrong. So I'll first delete this one. Yeah. 
So I'll click on this edit data, edit location and data and I'll select the uh, data range here it is given as. So I'll select this entire data and click on OK. So once I click on OK, you see the data is also included here. I'll try to change this value 79 to let's say 59, enter. So you see the value changes. So this is included into that place. Similarly, if I want to go to that place, these are the options available. The color, sparkling color and the marker color you can change. You can add an axis. You see show axis. This axis is added. So there are a few more options available. Now, if you do not like this kind of chart, that's a column chart, you can go for the line chart. This line chart changes. All the options are same. If you observe, these are the same options. High point, low point. So this small dot, which won't be visible here. Small point, if you, if you can, can see it from your screen here. Yellow point and the green point. First point, last point, these are small dots which will be added here. If you do not want, you can change it. And if you want, you can change the color also. Different options available here. That's a thin line. Again, there's one more, that's a win loss. Win loss is nothing but like a, a Boolean expression, true and false or one and zero. It will keep on changing it. And I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll expand on the right hand side this way and it gets added over here. Same, if you add some values, let's say minus 90, so it changes one and zero, nothing high, low and all, one and zero it will change. So this was about the design tab in that win loss column and line chart. I hope uh, you have got the point here and you can, if you do not want, you cannot delete it. If you want to delete it, you, you cannot press delete from a keyboard, it doesn't go. What you have to do is, you have to first select this data wherever you want to clear the spark lines. Then you can go to this place and say as clear selected spark lines and then only it will go away. Otherwise it won't go. So make sure you, uh, you know how to get it deleted. So I hope uh, you have understood and that's all for this video.